Waves and light. So here we've got a diagram of a wave. This is one of the two ways you can make diagrams of waves. So we have here this line here, which is a rest position. Okay. And then we've got crests here, troughs, and the wave direction. So the wave is moving in this way, and we'll continue to move that way. Crests are the furthest point above the rest position that the wave enters, and troughs are the lowest point below the rest position that the wave enters. So amplitude, the maximum distance between a particle and its rest position. So we measure from the crest to the rest position or from a trough to the rest position there, and that gives us amplitude. Uh, next up is wavelength, which is the distance between two successive positions, right? So if we have a trough and a trough, and we measure that, that's wave that that gives us lambda or wavelength. A crest to a crest, again lambda or wavelength, or any two successive positions on the wave will give us lambda, right? These are both uh, measured in uh, meters. Right, because they're distances. Uh, frequency is measured in hertz, and that's the number of waves moving through a point per second. So if I have a point here, and I just let the wave move it, you know, it's whatever speed it's moving at, and we count per, in within one second how many waves, how, how many of these waves. So from you know from a trough to a trough within lambda, that is one wave, or that is one wave depending on how we count it. How many of those move through that point? per second, that gives us frequency, which is in hertz. All right, then we've got period, which is measured in time, or seconds, sorry. Uh, this is the time taken for one wave to pass through a point. So we have the point again, we let the wave pass through, and we measure that, and that gives us the period.